Well, hey there. Welcome to episode number 16 of our Let's Play series. I haven't made any more progress on the lighthouse since the last episode, but uh, we've been doing the, the mob farm, the lighthouse, and kind of sticking around that little area over there for the last couple episodes. So I was thinking, due to the iron problem that presented itself, itself with uh, the cactus farm, that uh, we were going to go find some villagers. Now, I'm really hoping that there's something up along the coast. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy real quick, because we're going to be going right there. Alright, so my idea is, I got a couple of boats, and uh, if we can find something somewhere along the, somewhere along the coast, we should be able to pretty easily boat them back here. Uh, and then, there's the problem, where do we contain them? So I'm kinda thinking, um, maybe if we dig in right here, we'll want, yep, we'll go right into here. Right into our basement. Um, I would definitely say we don't want them going through that door. Uh, we also don't want them going through the nether portal yet. Uh, but let's do a little science. Can we ride a boat into here? I believe we should be able to. Give me that back. Uh, let's see, I think we're gonna want to block that all the way off. Okay, so this should be a... Actually, you know what, while we're at it. Let's do that. Pop a little torch on top there. And, yeah, that should work. What just hit me? Was that me hitting my head or was that a fan? It should be a phantom. I've slept. So it must have just been me hitting my head. Perfect timing, because uh, we're going to want to go out with a fresh sunrise. Kind of curious how uh, how far that coral reef reaches too. So let's put our rockets in our hand. Got some extras. Uh, yeah, we can throw this stuff temporarily in there. Okay, we've got torches. All right, let's go get her done. Oh, I finally made a bunch of the Duration 3 rockets. So much better. Alright, I'm not... Well, they don't cut... They don't show up in the Mega Tigas. I don't see one in that Taiga. How about the Forest? No. Yeah, that coral reef is reaching pretty far. I bet you there's a bunch of shipwrecks in there that could help solve some of our iron problems right now. But we really just need to get three or four villagers and uh, make an iron farm, just a basic iron farm for now, over at spawn. Oh, there's a, there we go. That should actually be pretty easily doable. Yep, nice natural bay reaching right in. I like it. Come on, mending villager. There's a mending villager here. Ah. Nope. 
And since boats won't go over, uh, let's see. Give me that. There we go. Since boats won't go over any of the uh, path blocks. Where'd you come from? No. <laughs> Those friggin' netwits. Oh, no, no. Uh, can we fix that? Yes, we can. Uh, refill the bucket. Yeah, this should be much easier than I was expecting. I figured we were going to go at least a thousand more blocks. Uh, how many do we want? We need... Uh, now, well, depending on how long this takes, we may just empty out that entire village. Because we're gonna, we need a, we need to make a village breeder first. We'll need a detector villager and at least two brown coats without aprons. Oh, you know what? This used to be the safe and easy way. You could just leave the boat out in the middle of the water with the villager. Not anymore. I forgot there's drowns. And some of them have tridents. I kind of want to say, hopefully, we won't run into one. But I also kind of want one, because I, I want a trident. <laughs> Wow, is it becoming night already? Now it's only noon. Yeah. This coral reef is absolutely huge. It took me forever to find a map with my favorite biome right next to a coral reef. I kind of figured that it would just be a tiny little thing that I couldn't pull from, but wow, this thing is massive. We've already seen it goes way over there from our adventuring out. Well, there's the pumpkins. So we should be most of the way back. Oh, that was a lot more uneventful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, when we get back, we'll have to check and see if there is a... Uh, If there is a, a blacksmith, might also be nice to look and see if there's a library too. There was a cartographer. Oh, that'd be a perfect little island for uh, turtle egg spawning or turtle egg farm. Man, they did such a good job with this update. Here we go, rounding the corner. Yeah, there's just so much friggin' life. <clears throat> such a relief not to just see dead gravel on the ground everywhere you looked. Because that's all it used to be for, well, most of you have been, been around at least that long. All right, so uh, let's see, F3B, D don't want to hit him. That should keep him off to the side. You know what? We also don't want any zombies popping down in there while we're out and about. Yeah, this Mega Taiga goes on forever, too, in that direction. This is just about the perfect map for me. 
I couldn't ask for a whole lot more, really. All of the new features. And there's a uh, guardian temple out there. And there's a guardian temple like a thousand blocks that way. Which is pretty reachable through the nether, really. What is that, like a hundred and... 124 blocks, something like that. Let's get F3B off again. And <laughs> maybe pay attention to my surroundings at least enough that I don't overshoot it. There is a blacksmith. Ooh, what do you got? What do you got? Impaling four? That's really not... That's not bad. Uh, why is there water in here? Brown coats? Oh, come on. Just regular brown coats? Uh, no, maybe not. There's another nitwit. We'll take a few iron and a gem. And we'll leave those for the village. Yeah, I'm not seeing any actress. Yeah, so I'm going to have to do a villager breeder and I'm going to have to feed them my. Well, m maybe. Maybe. Come on. Cross our fingers. Oh my god, this is such a derpy little town. No. No. I would eat just cartographer. All right. Whoa. Where the heck did... Oh, probably over there. Probably the caves. So whatever we're going to grab from here, we need to do it quick. Because they're likely to be all undead by the time we get through with all this. So let's go here. I believe our little dirt block is right there. Oh, and by the way, uh, when you sprint while you're in a boat, you don't actually go any faster. It just changes your field of view. So it looks like you're going faster from your perspective. I actually saw on, uh, on Hermitcraft, uh, Biffa and Azuma Void did a little test in uh, F5 mode. And... Going like this, one of them using the sprint, and one of them not, they stayed neck and neck, so. I still do it because it makes me feel good. And I'll get rid of that. Now, how are we going to get these guys to spawn? I got them right next to the nether portal, and that's partially by design, but that also means we're going to have to dig out the nether portal to be quite a bit larger than it already is. Maybe lay down some ice so it doesn't take forever to make like five trips. Either that, or we make a villager breeder here. Change all our doors to iron doors so they don't count cord towards the village. And it's also better protection against the zombies. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a tough call. I'm not even sure if we're going to get to that in this video. But, uh...
Yeah, I don't think there's enough room left on the inside of the, uh... Yeah, I don't want to mess with the lighthouse anymore. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Now, in the past, I've gone ahead and, you know, basically built a shelter like we're using for our house. And used that as a villager breeder with a uh, guy on a piston. And guy goes up on his piston, villagers, village is turned on. Guy goes down a block, village is no longer making villagers. So we're going to definitely want to have that kind of functionality. Oh, there's our lighthouse. But I also don't want to have to worry about what kind of doors I have near the base. I don't know, that's a tough one. Uh, that's a... That could be great to have it nearby for uh... just for whatever purposes we might need for a villager for. For example, a carrot, potato, or wheat farm. We won't want those at spawn because If I'm not mistaken, no, oh, let's see, F3B. Uh, maybe right there. Yeah, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, the, the village will would still be active, and the villagers are still active if you're, say, 100 blocks away but they stop moving and their AI kind of shuts down a little bit so uh, for the potatoes and carrots I don't think they move around unless there's somebody you know within X number of blocks I think that number might be 128 so if we're gonna do something like that Uh, yes, I do have a boat. Don't want the seeds. So if we were going to do something like that, we would almost want it pretty close to the base. Maybe. Now we could probably build it right here. What's our uh, coordinates? No, this one. So the Z stays the same, or the X stays the same, the Z is the one I need. So let's say right here in the middle, 484. And what does this put me at? One of these days I'm going to have to fix that. You know what, let's do it now while I'm thinking about it. Because we may have something already made up. Alright, so it was 484 over there. Alright, that's right, my shovel. Now let's get rid of our riches while we're at it. And yeah, we'll stick those there. Where did I get all these stairs from? Oh, I got the oak stair. Okay. I got the oak stairs from the uh, village house that I had to break into. Alright, that's all safe and secure now. Uh, we'll stick a boat there. And we don't want the rotten flesh. So now we're at 606. So 584. It's right on the tip here. Um, 
plus 28 would be 604 612 so we might be close enough you know just AFKing like right up there at the fish farm or even just down in our basement but that might be a little too far Although, so what's the uh, far part of our house? I'll say 615. And that's going in the drink. Uh, not too bad, though. <laughs> it's always the worst when you throw the ender pearl and then you wait 30 seconds for it to sink down to the bottom of the ocean. Um, could we put it right here? I think that we could. Uh, let's get this cleared out a little. wood left in there or nearby touching it no yeah so this flat little area right here so let's see that is we said 615 so 515 would be within a hundred blocks That must be where a creeper said hi. So 515. Yeah, that should be perfect right there. Um, give me a little meat. Now. Pick that junk up. No. <laughs> yeah, right clicking with a uh, shovel in your hand. Not the best idea. Uh, let's skim a little off the top here. Yeah, I got it all. So there and there. Yeah, I think we should be able to work with that. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna go collect a few more villagers, turn off this F3. I think I'm gonna go collect a few more villagers and uh, Come right back to you. And we're back. Oh, I, uh, I got a little carried away with the building again. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments if uh, you want me to include more of the actual building, uh, the actual placing of the blocks, or if you like that I don't uh, subject you to that. But I went over and got another villager, and I've already taken one of these villagers we stashed here and put him in their new home. And this guy, uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Uh, we'll go the same way we did the other one. Uh, in there. So let's use a little water to pull him out away from that corner. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> that was uh, not what I had planned. How do I? Probably something like this. It must be because that water got updated. Alright, so. There we go. I don't think he can get out of here. And we should be able to pop him in a boat. Uh oh. And surprisingly enough, we were able to drive up that. I did not think we were going to be able to until I did the last one. So that that's nice to know. I don't know if that's a new change or if that was always the way they be, they behaved, but I seem to remember boats like just getting waterlogged and sinking. Alright, so we'll get him out. And I haven't shown you their new home yet. Because we're going to be doing some work in it before the end of the episode. Let's see. A little bit of water. Made a little bubble elevator going up into it. Get in there. And there we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to need a couple more slabs. Uh, that should be more than enough. So, we have a nice looking little cabin here for them with doors and glass above the doors. Uh, there's 12 doors in total. And we need to get one of these guys. Now, let's see cartographer, librarian, impaling five. Maybe we stick him in there. So we need to get one of these guys on top of that log. That's our goal. Uh, let's see if I can. Nope. Now I should be able to just get back here. Now let's see if he wants to cooperate because I want him there. We can always come back in at any point and do a trade with him if we want to. But he wants to be stubborn. That should... There we go. Yeah, that little water trick and the slab tricks very useful for getting these stubborn guys where you want them to go. Alright, so once this guy is in here and we block him in, should be able to get... Oh! I did not mean to, that was your fault. You saw I had it out. And this guy needs to get off of that water because that's really annoying. Come on. There we go. So we're just going to cap this off. Uh, do I have any dirt? No. Because later on, we're actually going to, I mean, for, for right now, this is just going to be a, a normal, just a normal farm, normal, uh, or a very, yeah, yeah, word, words are hard. This is going to be a simple farm. That guy, when we pull this lever, and once we feed these guys a little bit, should create a village. Uh, should within a minute that guy should detect those doors and make a village and he'll continue to detect those doors 
And these two, once they've been fed, should become willing to, uh, to breed. I made myself a little escape ladder that they can't get on. <laughs> and some trap, or some fence gates that won't count towards the village. Uh, let's sleep this away real quick. Now it should be as simple as what we just did, plus a little food and some time. So let's go ahead and see how much food we have. We should have a bunch of, uh, what do we want to use, carrots? Yeah, maybe we need some more. This thing should still be working just fine. We want to get them each, I don't know, maybe a couple stacks. And once, uh, once they make a, a brown coat villager, the brown coat villager is going to, he's going to plant and replant all the carrots that we're going to plant down in there and continuously feed them so they'll be continuously willing. And uh, there is no, as far as I'm aware, there is, there is no cap to what that farm can produce. It's not the fastest. Um, you know, it is just three villagers right now. But, you know, I could come back after an overnight AFK session and find 40 or 50 villagers in there. Now it's, we're going to definitely improve. Ooh, nice. That is working very well. We're definitely going to improve the, uh, the farm over there a little bit. The breeder. Uh, I intentionally made the building two blocks too long on one side so that we could try to create something where the brown coat villager throws the food down to a bunch of trapped villagers and they're, they'll be standing on fence fences and hopefully all of the babies will drop down into a collection area for us and from there we can send them through one by one with a minecart and kind of pick through I don't think that's going to happen this episode. But, actually, let's get rid of all this because it's going to drive me nuts. Alright, that's all gone. Now let me grab a quick stack of dirt since it's right there. And we're gonna go up here and let's see we'll go that should be good and we might as well fix the whole thing um, Guess we'll put one of those, one of those. Uh, do I have any more mossy cobble? I don't suppose I do. Uh, so we'll do. <laughs> Not that. Actually. Yeah, we'll stick a smooth stone there. Smooth stone there. Cobble. There. Nothing ever happened in here, folks. Nothing to see. And right, we'll pop that down just for the hell of it. And since these guys are ready, I'll quickly show you how I go about doing the cow farm because some some of you may be wondering exactly what the process is uh, 
I feed it. A, I feed a couple. I turn off the water so that the. Well, There's only one baby. Of course, on camera, they're not just popping out. All right. And then just cycle this a couple of times. Cycle it a couple more times. And we have babies. Sometimes you get more than others. Sometimes the mob cramming kills a few. This time, the mob cramming killed much more than I expected. So we'll cycle that. And hopefully, we ideally, I'm ending up with you know five or six cows. With looting, you know, that could add up to half a stack. Now there's five. Any more, any more willing participants? Well, there's definitely 25. They just shot me back a little. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Alright, so what time of day is it? So everything in there should, should be mob proof. Yeah, I just, I'm probably just going to leave that there. I can replace that soul sand with uh, just a regular block to try to, try to get them out, I guess, temporarily. Make sure I close that in case... A zombie or something decides that it wants to pop in through. Alright, so once I fed these guys, let's see, I'll give two, two stacks each. Now let's start with one stack each. And he sucked that up. And maybe we'll even uh, give this guy a little bit of food. There. Then, uh, where's an ender chest? Uh, there should. There we go. There's the hoe. Now we can fix all that. I really need to leave that somewhere accessible. Okay, so that's fixed. Let's plant all of this. Because, I mean, it's dependent completely on RNG at this point, but if we get lucky, maybe the first villager is going to be a brown coat and continue to feed these guys. If not, then I'll have to pop in here once in a while and throw a couple of stacks of food at everybody. Oh, I guess I'm glad I held on. And, you know what? You can have the rest of that stack. You can have that, and you can have that, and it may take a few minutes, but as you can see, they're already, they already seem to be doing the social thing. Now, ideally, I give them more food and make it makes them more ready more willing i guess you should say 
So while we're waiting for that, why don't I go out give you a little peek? Actually, let me quickly explain this farm to you. So the field that they're going to spawn on or below is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks below the block that the doors are standing on. That means that down here, though the, those doors that represent the center of the village are not counting these villagers in the census. And this villager, when he gets raised up to where he is right now, he should be, let's see, he's one, two, the top of his head is two blocks below the block that the doors are standing on. And I believe it detects down three, one that, so that should work this is exactly the same as the setup I have in the other world and that one works beautifully so we'll come back and check on it in a little bit but I don't know if you need to pause the video take a look at that the count of blocks I used glass panes so it's pretty easy to see how many blocks that's just a sticky piston right there so that part that part and the farm itself can be built in any building or just in a pit underground as long as there's daylight access, sky access going to the doors and you do want it lit up well actually while that's on my mind let me toss a couple more torches in here I don't know if mobs can I don't think mobs can spawn on the the uh, tilled ground, the farmland, but just in case. And it, the extra light should help with the crops growing. Wow, this day cycle is quick. Let's get a quick sleep in. And I like the color palette that we've chosen. Might be a little bright for some tastes, but I, I like it. You got your dark, your bright, and uh, something in between. So I, I think I think it's gonna be nice. And uh, once I add some dark oak, you know, I'm not done with these builds yet. I've still got to come back and decorate them a little bit. Definitely got to put a roof on that. But let's take a closer look and show you show you what the building is. And of course, I would get stuck on that block. There. Weird lag spikes. All right, so nothing special. I went to. Uh, the inside is 9 by 11. I just kind of used repeated patterns. Oh. And I should have known with the, with the villagers that there would be... Yeah, I gotta I got light this area up. I should have known that there would definitely be some zombies spawning near nearby for the village. But, I mean, it's nothing special, but I like it. I like the style. I like the uh, repeated panels. That makes the build easy. Although I had to, I had to change that one a little bit because it was too longer than this than the rest over here. 
But nice contrast with the concrete powder. And hopefully, with any luck, start to see some hearts pretty soon. suppose we'll need that before long. We'll take the project box, stick it back in the... Well, we'll, we'll leave those for now. Yeah, I've got another one. Okay, so I guess in the meantime, while they're taking their time, I'm going to get some more food. And, uh... Throw it their way, see if that helps. Usually I would throw much more food in there. Uh, this time we just didn't have it. But I guess... Until next time. This is Bell Mathewin signing off. Hope if you, if you enjoyed the video, you know, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Any questions or concerns, leave them in the down below. And everybody have a good night.